Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how y'all doing? Dave Boyd here trying a little different angle. <clears throat> and we got uh, a little box here. I'm going to go ahead and I not destroy these addresses, but I use a commercial shipping address, business, my eBay business, and this is also a business, so it shouldn't matter. Hmm. Okay. I hope this is Lego related items. Oh, it, it is. Hey, it is. It's very it's kind of rough shape. It's been a spike for a long time. But from the old um, <coughs> space sets came this incredible arm. Actually, this arm appeared uh, in the old maxi figures. This is nice and soft. I've never seen this black tip before. I mean, I've seen it online, obviously, but very cool old gray. Yeah, we're gonna probably put the gray tip on here. But this, I have ideas for this one. But the key thing is I need to put this in a place where I can collect them and uh, remember where they're at by the time comes. You, uh, you all out there are <clears throat> buy parts or bricks or something and you're kind of saving them up for a project or do something. <clears throat> and then when the time comes, you uh, have no idea where they are. That ever happened to anyone else, or is that just for me? Okay, ah, ah, yes, P1 clone from the Clone Wars. I'm not sure if this was what I meant to get or not. I think it is, but this is for something slightly different. Um, this not not the sharpest, as you can just clearly see right there. Oh. Here we are, so they're very cool. These are little ingot pieces, but in reddish brown. So that's called brittle brown. We'll sharp this knife into the cellar. Okay, that's interesting. That's really nasty job of packaging. This is from set 7676. Um, and it's the door where the little command center blade goes on the gunship. And the looter says I'm gonna laugh this off. I got this because the sticker's in the excellent shape and the yellowing, and I just I have an idea for this. I'm not 100 percent sure, but the price was good. The person sent me an offer and I decided to go for it. This knife is crazy, crazy dull. That's really not good. I hadn't realized that. I'm set it aside. Oh, any of you all guys and gals out there ever saw my playlist, you'd recognize I put together a few of these guys. Yep. I'm going to miss that one. I love the old bomb squad troops. I really, really do. Wookiees or call it Shubakas, I guess. I don't know if y'all like the original ones. These are not misprints like that one I showed. Look at the new figures. Is he a little bit more brown? Oh, he has a different color. Well, I'll be darned. Do I have, do I have to do a legit check here? <sighs> okay. You see that, guys and gals on YouTube? No stampings on this one. Nose looks good, but the plastic feels different. It's got a number two. I think this is a fake. And this is totally not clickbait. You saw me just unpack this. 
doesn't actually look like it says Lego there. It says Lego there though. Um, six and one one. Is this a different era? Oh boy, are we on to something different here? Okay, this one says Lego, Lego like I'm used to sin. It says Lego there. It looks exactly the same. How about the legs? Lego's written sideways. And normally Lego's written inside on the inside lip here. But these don't have it there. Huh. Tell you what. It's a different kind of plastic. I mean, when I, okay, here, when we watch, I deliberately mix them up. Look at that. It's a different color. But what, I guess everything says Lego except for this. And this has got me concerned. We got this one and this one, the plastic. Nah, hold on. <clears throat> I sure make this such a boring video all of a sudden. Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that pretty close there? So, what do we got here? Now this is a little more reddish looking. This is this is large six. And some weird stampings there. This one has nothing else there. This one says Lego up here, but not on the legs. I'm seriously questioning that, actually. Is that a crack? Hmm. Lego part number. Just don't know. Well, <clears throat> let's not lose too much time on that. I'll have to look into that. Either way, they may or may not be vintage Shavaka style. I, I think I feel the one is. I, I feel there's parts of the other ones for it. Ah, here we have here the gunship pilot. Or but most people just gonna remember seeing a yellow clone, right? The thing is, he's not a yellow clone. He's, uh... Is that right? Is he a Clone Wars character? Hmm, I thought it really so. He got me sick, I guess I'm all freaked out now. Okay, I'm gonna cut right into there. And this has got, oh, these these red connectors, You'll, these will come into play a little bit later, probably this, this weekend's live stream. This is from uh, Las Vegas Bricks, or Nash Vegas Bricks. These are Clone Army Customs, beautifully, look at that, nicely printed. These are the actual helmet, helmets for the, um, it's a Tommy gun, in blue. Those are the actual helmets for the pilot minifigure. I guess you could put them on the yellow clone and you could probably have a uh, pilot that way too. Facetious. Okay, this guy's packed super well, and he has the clone face. Looks like he needs a little more sleep or something. Sleep deprived. All right. <clears throat> so the mystery 
of the Chewbacca's. Actually, it's probably not much of a mystery. I mean, uh, this I believe is sus. This one is legit. And then this, even though the feet are not marked that way, it's better than this one. Unless they're both right. Well, either way, the only thing that's not marked anything with Lego is this right here. So, appreciate the views. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Until next time, ciao.